What's going on, everybody? James here from urban-picker.com. <laughs> I forgot yesterday to go over a sold video, so we're going to get two days worth of sold in this one video. We've got October 31st and November 1st, 2019. And we're going to go through here, clicking around. All right, we'll start with some Panasonic VHSC camcorder videotapes, blank tapes. Always a good seller. I always pick all blank audio up when I find out that they're sealed. Uh, this sold, it looks like on the UK eBay site, sold for $13.84. We got a Nintendo GameCube memory card. I had this in storage. I, before I started selling on eBay, I had a huge game room, video game room. I had pretty much every system, had all kinds of stuff. So I was always buying video game stuff. Uh, this is some little leftovers that I had. <clears throat> when I started eBay, I sacrificed my game, my games and my CD collections to uh, start the business. And this is just one item that was didn't get touched then, was thrown in a box, probably wasn't worth anything then. But now, being... It's vintage uh, and still sealed. This sold for $60. Next up, we got Ghostbuster hoodie. Anytime I find anything Ghostbusters, I find it because it usually sells pretty quick. There's still a huge fan base out there for Ghostbusters. Oh, that's cool. Um, this sold for $20. Picked it up at the outlet, so less than 50 cents into it. Pittsburgh Search and Rescue, Pennsylvania. Same person who bought the Ghostbusters bought this hat. And they paid $10 for this hat. Next up, we got Toad the Wet Sprocket promo single CD. You've heard about me telling you about promo singles in the past. This one sold for $18. This was featured in one of my video series, The eBay Way. I believe this was in it. I picked this up a couple of videos ago for 3 to $5. don't remember exactly. Sold for $29.74. Up next, we just got a lot of 10 Sega Genesis video games, just common stuff that wouldn't sell very well on their own, but together in a lot. We've got $23.79. All right, we got a streak, strength training DVD. Whenever you find these shoes, grab them. They go anywhere from you know $25 to $70 to $100, depending on the condition of the shoe. Uh, the video sold for $10. As said in a prior video, I love buying train items. I uh, put these three in a lot together. They sold for $17.49. Here we got some Game Boy cases. Uh, this too, I believe, came out of my old collection, so it came out of storage. So no money into it as of the last 18 years. Uh, so sold this for $14.87. Uh, next, we got a Harley shirt, or actually a Harley's owner's group shirt. It's not a Harley Davidson shirt. This sold for $10.12. Got a little Reese's plush here, 9-inch. Anytime I find plush candy or fruit-related items, I grab. Uh, this sold for $9.99. Here we got a soundtrack set, Evasion of the Body Snatchers. Sold for $17.49. Another Toad the Wet Sprocket single, promo single. This one sold for $13.12. Here we got a Delta Rebels CD still in the blister pack. Blister pack is the plastic that these CDs used to come in when vinyl was still hot or new, I should say, newer. So about 92, 93, 91, back in there, early, early 90s, when CDs came out, they uh, 
came out in blister packs or they came out in the cardboard long boxes. And that was so that they could fit in the bins of the records because they're about as high as a record. And then you could go two side by side with Wise for the CDs. You should have stayed out of here, girl. You could go out with them and be barking. <laughs> okay, uh, next up, we got a WWE coat. This is with kids. Camo coat sold for $19.99. I got less than 50 cents into it. As far as this, I forgot to say. About 15, 16, 17 years ago, I had a person contact me through eBay saying they had all these CDs they wanted to get rid of, and they were all long boxes and blister packs. I bought thousands of them from them, and they averaged out to 18 cents a piece. I still have tons of them. I probably still got boxes of them in storage. I bought so many from the guy. So You never know what's going to fall in your lap. Uh, these are some... Uh, Reducing pins for speaker wire. I sold this whole lot for $13.99. This lot is actually from something I had in storage uh, from the first uh, music store I've ever bought out in Greenville, Illinois. I bought, uh, they were closing. This was probably in 2003. And I still got stuff in storage from that store. So... See, we got the Dungeons and Dragons old PC floppy disk game. I've sold tons of these at different values, different uh, different titles. This one sold for sixteen seventy three. I've got as much as ninety to one hundred dollars out of some of them that I sold. I had a whole huge collection that I bought in a lot of uh, video game items from a local seller. Some Rika shoes. This was probably in one of my eBay way thrift videos. No, actually, it's, this is older because I can tell by the background. Uh, this sold for $13.12. Here we got a Kenneth Cole leather jacket. Uh, had this for a while. I can tell by the background. Sold this for $25. PGA Championship hat. Sold for $10.39. Another... Uh, Outlet items. Same with the Kenneth Cole jacket. Both of these items I got less than 50 cents into. Uh, Yo Gotti CD. This one sold for the price here $63.44. This either came from an outlet or I'm always buying lots of stuff. Oh, actually, ah, this was actually a consignment item for my sister. Uh, so she picked this up at the Goodwill Outlet. Wow, she's going to be happy about that. Nice. Yeah, I sell some of my sisters. I let her list in my store, and I ship and control everything for her. Uh, let's see. We got this shirt here. Sold for $9.74. You can get the pun, the joke there. Jack shit. Boy, he is talking to somebody out there today, Mr. Vern. This I just picked up. This was just probably in my last pickup video, I guess. Did it make it to a video? I don't know. I uh, sold this for $23.79. I think uh, this was a $4 item. I paid for this. Jordan jacket. Just one I pulled out of my closet. On my phone page, I got like three pages open that you can't see, so I'm trying to figure out where I'm at. There we go. Okay, so this one came out of my personal collection. Collection I had jackets that I just never wear, so I started selling a lot of them. This I sold for fifteen dollars. Up next, love love finding this stuff. So we got this Varsity Citibank jacket. I think this was in one of my videos. I uh, got it at the Goodwill outlet. I no no no. This is an eBay way video. And I think I paid seven dollars for it. Seven to ten dollars for it. Sold for forty dollars and ninety-nine cents. 
pair of Nike ID Cortex. I just talked about these in a past video. Uh, they just sold, uh, sold quick. $25 is what I accepted for them, just to move them. Changes that heal, these are audio cassette book, sold for $23.50. This is a Nike OCG, the outdoor hooded coat with a removable layer. It has the layer, I guess, on the inside that can be removed. Boy, he is just talking today. That's my dog out there, not me. I'm not talking about myself here. Uh, this ended up selling for $75.93. I want to say I got this at the outlet, but I do not remember for sure. All right. This is, wait a minute, I'm all messed up here. I guess I didn't say what that Delta Rebels went for, because it just popped up on my list here, that blister pack item. So that sold for $14. Was it 14? I'm confused. I'm confusing myself here, looking for these shoes. May, am I on another list by now? No? I'm so confused. Since I missed a day, I'm kind of all out of whack here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> These sold for $14.99. These were either outlet item or one of the free items I got from a friend in the truckload of clothes and shoes. This also, do I do believe, came from that friend of mine. Uh, sold these for twenty dollars. All right, Universal Studios Harry Potter hat sold for twenty six ninety nine. I, I want to say outlet, but I do not know for sure where I picked that up. Pioneer receiver, I believe this one came from that huge audio or huge electronics lot I picked up in one of my eBay Way videos. If you're watching the eBay series, the eBay Way series, I ended up selling this for 50 bucks. I think I paid $8 for it. An older hat that's been sitting in my store for a bit. Sold for $14.30 on the Australian eBay site. Now we're on a new page. All right, so April Wine Laserdisc sold for $13.99. Here's another consignment item. This one sold for $22.34. Uh, Europe eBay site, looks like. So let's see here. Let's move that. A little Diddy Kong. Okay, where are you at? To pass you. There you are. All right, so this one sold for $22.34. I buy all video game plush I come across. Some of them, if you get they got tags, can go for near a hundred dollars for just a little small one. So this was a seven inch. So lose long sleeve. This was picked up not too long ago. Sold for ten fifty. And the last item here, Columbia Interchange coat. This was picked up. Actually, came out of a closet. Out of my wife's collection. I bought this for her many years ago from a Ross. So this came out of her collection. It sold for $69.99. And this is the thermal coil. So it has the coat, has the jacket layer on the inside, and has the thermal coil in it. So there we are. There's all the items from the last two days. Uh, UrbanDashPicker.com. And uh, thank you for watching. Later.